I'm Tom from No Frills Influencer, and today I want to show you something that's pretty incredible that OpenAI released very quietly um, as part of their big day of new releases. And this is the assistance system. There's a, there's a way for you to create your own, basically almost like the custom GPTs they're working on. Those aren't quite ready yet, but something you can actually do right now. So we're going to go to the playground. It's platform.openai.com if you're a developer. We're going to go to the assistance tab and we're going to create a new assistant. And I'm going to create an assistant here that's going to look at the Google search quality rank raters guidelines, which if you're not aware, it's a massive document that SEOs comb through hundreds of pages of guidelines. And then we're going to use that to evaluate an article. So I'm going to go ahead and call this the uh, Google, let's call it the Google quality rater, uh, Google quality rater assistant. Um, I'm going to say you are a Google uh, quality rater. You have access to the Google quality rater guidelines and are an expert at looking at blog articles and providing quality ratings. Perfect. Model, we're going to select the new GPT-4 because this has a huge context window. It's 128K uh, context window, so super, super big. Then we're going to switch on retrieval, and now we're going to go ahead and upload the giant PDF of the Google Quality Rater guidelines. So there it is. I downloaded it from Google. I'm uploading it here, and now with this retrieval setting, it's going to be able to retrieve information from that document. So let's go ahead and say save. It's, all, it's covered by my uh, little video box here, but I'm going to say save. Now we've created our assistant. That's as easy as that. So let's ask it some questions to make sure that uh, it's got this data. So let's say um, blank. Uh, what are some general guidelines for ensuring that uh, an article is trustworthy? Uh, let's see what it says with that. Add and run. So now it's going to go ahead and pull our custom assistant. It's going to pull some data from that uh, document that we gave it. Again, it's aware of all of Google's quality rater guidelines. And uh, let's give it a moment to process. It's not the fastest thing. We'll come back. All right. So um, there we go. It came back with uh, a result. I'm sure an article is trustworthy or some general guidelines based on the the quality rater guidelines. And it goes through all this, the purpose of the page, whether the page is harmful, EEAT, the main content. So it's hooked up, it's got the data. Let's go ahead and drop an article in there and to ask it to give us some feedback. All right, so here's the article that uh, we're gonna put in there. I actually wrote this this morning, how deep is the water under the Golden Gate Bridge? Let's go ahead and, I copied the, the text. I'm just gonna go ahead and paste it into our assistant. So let's say, um, take a look at this article. Um, give me feedback and advice about the article based on your experience as a Google quality rater. How would you rate this article? And we'll drop in the text. Let's run it. We'll come back in a moment. Okay, so here's what we got. This is Google quality rater. My feedback and advising are based on the guidelines, blah, blah, blah. Okay, purpose of the page. The article aims to inform readers about the water depth beneath the Golden Gate Bridge. Achieves its purpose, good. Content quality, original content, geographical, historical, and engineering information. It's got specific figures, which they like, um, but it's, uh, it does say here that um, uh, you know, there's research and effort in it, but if we go on to the next thing, it says it doesn't cite sources for the data, so that could raise questions about the accuracy. So that's a, a good point. Maybe I should cite some sources in there. Um, no credentials provided for the author, so maybe include that in the text of the article, like why I uh, am trustworthy there. Um, comes across as honest and straightforward, the inclusion of a sponsored segment within the content about Nespresso, so it doesn't like that there's ads in there, basically, is what it's saying. Um, so the presence of the advertisement in the middle article could affect the user's experience. It's important to distinguish clearly between content and advertisement. Um, yeah, I mean, this is something people have pointed out as a concern, like if there's too many ads in the content, is that a problem? Benefit from citations or references, totally legit. Um, lacks in-depth exploration of the engineering marvel aspect of the Golden Gate Bridge. So it just sort of says at the beginning of the article, it's an engineering marvel without giving more information. That's fair. 
um, no information about the how the depth uh, actually influences maritime activities beyond general statements. So maybe delve into that a bit more. Um, and it says this is a medium rated article. So there's like this harmful, low quality, medium quality, high quality uh, breakdown in the quality rater guidelines. And apparently it's giving me the score of medium, which is uh, helpful to know. Um, a lack of authoritative backing and in-depth coverage keeps it from being rated higher. And then it gives some advice, you know, incorporate reputable sources, expert insights, clear distinction between editorial and sponsored content, um, and uh, detailed analysis. So that's pretty helpful. That's, that's drawing on a lot of stuff in, in those quality rater guidelines, looking at my specific article and telling me essentially what I ought to do from it. Um, let's try to hand it something else. All right, so here's another article. This is more like based on my experience. It's about the legality of photographing houses. Has a lot of citations. Uh, let's go ahead and drop this text in and see what the rating is. All right, so here's the response on this one. Um, purpose of the page, educating readers about the legality of a stranger photographing their house from public property, according to First Amendment rights in the US. That's a pretty good, good description. Um, the article offers a clear explanation of the legal aspects, includes relevant information from the ACLU. Um, so it's uh, you know good there. The author identifies as a professional photographer and journalist. They also disclaim legal expertise. And it says that disclaimer indicates honesty and transparency and helps manage the reader's expectations. So that increases, the, uh, the, it recognizes the expertise, talks more about that here, how that increases the trustworthiness of the article that, you know, I say, this is not legal advice, better talk to your attorney. Um, and uh, it links that I cited sources essentially here, but it does say maybe I should uh, cite more official sources. ACLU, I think, is a pretty good source, but maybe I should cite some government sources or specific legal cases, it says, which is a smart idea, actually. Um, but overall, it gives it a medium to high quality rating on this article. So maybe put in uh, a bit more, like get a, a, a legal expert to chime in or cite specific cases, link to some government sources that might bump me up to high quality. But you can see how including those citations, those expert sources, um, talking about my own expertise as a photographer in there, bumped me from that medium rating up to high. So you can see how incredibly useful these assistants can be. Um, took me like two minutes to you know upload that that quality rater guidelines, and now I basically have like a private quality rater that I can use for my own purposes, evaluating my own stuff, uh, super super easily. So pretty amazing capability here. Um, if you want to see more awesome things you can do with ChatGPT, especially these new capabilities, um, go ahead and sign up for my newsletter because that's the best way for me to reach you no matter what platform you're seeing this on. I'll put a link down below um, then I can send this stuff to you directly. You'll also get a free copy of my guide to seven enormously useful prompts from ChatGPT. So basically, um, I'm a professional creator. As you see in this article, I'm a photographer. Uh, I've been testing ChatGPT for about a year and uh, I have a list of some prompts that I genuinely use every day. So you can go ahead and grab that. Um, pretty amazing stuff from, uh, from OpenAI here and uh, I'm really uh, encouraged to see that this kind of stuff will soon be something you can then sell also as a service. It's gonna be really exciting too.